Tonight, I am announcing a Chrome Rare contest. A week ago on my case opening, if you go to about the 38 minute mark, you notice that I opened a 41 out of 100 Chrome Rare Beast Titan. I've got him right here with me. It's an absolutely gorgeous looking card. It's my best pull by far ever. My first Chrome Rare pull. But at the beginning of my stream, I said, guys, if I open a Chrome Rare Beast Titan, Reiner or Armin, I'm going to give it to a viewer and not keep it for myself. If I open a Levi, Mikasa or Aaron, then uh, too bad, so sad. That's definitely mine. Uh, but I opened a Beast Titan, so I'm going to hold true to my word. Uh, and, and I have a lot of people who messaged me who are big Beast Titan fans who said I opened their dream card. And uh, he definitely looks it. I think they did an amazing job on these Chrome Rares. Personally, I love how they had the manga author actually sign each one of these. It uh, adds a really nice artistic touch to the cards. Uh, so here's another look at this very, very handsome fellow. But how can you make this Chrome yours as one of my viewers? Well, here's the giveaway details. It's going to be a deck building contest. I've done probably three or four of these contests uh, as a content creator where I have lots of people make some sort of deck around some sort of made up restriction that I create. I then go and grade them all. And then I give the winner something like maybe a box, some challenger decks. Uh, but here it's definitely gonna be my biggest prize of all time because if you win, you're walking away with a Chrome Rare. Okay, when is this going to be? It's going to be today to September 7th. You have a little over two weeks to create your deck and submit it to me. And then my winner video will be on September 14th. And then it's going to only be for official supporters. So I'll talk a little bit about what I mean by how you can become an official supporter. So I'm not just opening this contest up to the general public. Uh, it's only going to be for supporters of my channel. And then the prize is going to be the number one uh, number 41 Beast Titan. Holy cow, how crazy would it be if it was the number one? But 41 will have to do. I think that's still pretty cool. Somewhere out there, someone's favorite number is 41, I'm sure. Okay, you can become a supporter by going to my Buy Me A Coffee page. There should be a, uh, what do you call it, a QR code right here in this video that you can scan to get there. Or if you go to my video description, you can see it on support the channel and then it should have a link to here. This is what the homepage looks like. There's basically, you can buy me a pack. Uh, this is like, if you want to just donate, hey, $5 to the channel and say, thank you for what you do. Like here we see, like Andrew bought me some packs. Uh, someone did, code me harder, uh, bought me three packs. So, um, and then you can become a member. If you come up here, this is the homepage. If you click on the membership tab, you can become a member in four different ways. Uh, but the cheapest is right here, $5 a month, become an official supporter. In the past, I've never really had a reason to become a member. So I haven't had a lot of people sign up because there's literally no benefit to doing so. So this is my attempt to start making a benefit and becoming a supporter. I'm going to start to do pretty regular giveaways uh, with pretty solid values on them. Uh, of course, they're not all going to be a uh, Chrome rare, uh, but maybe like a box, some challenger decks, a, a you know, secret rare, some sort of signed card. Like I've got a really nice signed Deku, signed... Um, signed eraser head and, and alter art uh, erase play set. So it's going to be pretty cool things, but I'll just be doing these deck building contests uh, pretty regularly, probably every couple months from here on out. And it's going to be limited to just my supporters. So $5 a month. If you want to sign up just to get into the Chrome Rare contest, and then you want to cancel next month, I will not be offended. I will only be appreciative. Okay, so those are the details. Now, what exactly are you going to be deck building? Well, Attack on Titan gave us some really cool new attack packages. In the past, for the last couple of years, it's basically just been five difficulty attacks and four difficulty attacks. You know, you start out with a five difficulty string opener and then you string out with four diffs. That's what everybody's doing. Well, Attack on Titan gave us some really unique attack packages. Starting off, we have these super high difficulty attacks that check fours. We got this seven diff, four, uh, four check, knockdown blow that also gives uh, plus three to your next check for a shift attack. Ravages of War is going to be everywhere, like Reiner, for example. Uh, eight, four, destroy one, spend a momentum, uh, discard a card. Uh, unexpected Outcomes was in my top 10. I think it's a very, very powerful attack package, specifically because it allows you to play uh, expensive foundations. You can play a much higher rate of three difficulty foundations, and then these attacks all pack a punch. 
If you're playing like Smiling Titan, then you're giving these things huge stats. But on the other end of the spectrum, we also, I mean, Attack on Titan gave us 23 of these, by the way, 23. Uh, that's a super high uh, number of attacks that check force in this set. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we got 24 attacks that are either three difficulty or two difficulty. So we have this whole three diff tribal. We even got a character based around it. Connie, every time a three difficulty deals damage, he can commit something to draw two cards. You know, he's basically Mikasa. Uh, if you squint your eyes a little bit, uh, you can you can sort of see it. Uh, but Attack Titan emerges uh, is definitely going to be a pretty meta card. Sacrifice and and build. Plaintive Cry, I think, is pretty underrated. Increased hostility in like, in like uh, Bionic Menace uh, or just the 34 health Aaron. Maintain distance to uh, draw a card and find more. Uh, what does that say, actually? During this attack... Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking of the 4-diff one. The 4-diff Mikasa one that says it combos with like a 3-diff and then you can find another 3-diff. This one says every time your rival wants to play an Enhance, they're going to have to commit a foundation. That's kind of crazy just turning off interaction on this unless your rival wants to stun 1, stun 2, stun 3, their own stage on their turn. So we got a lot of powerful 3-difficulty attacks. We've we You know, this is not as new as four check attacks, uh, but it's just never, we've never seen like a three difficulty tribal deck actually be good. And so could this be the time uh, for this to take over? I would really like to see one of these two types of attack packages really create a meta deck and shake up the way we play the game. You know, we've been in five diff and four diff land for too long. So the contest rules are Build any standard deck with an attack lineup of either 80% four check attacks or 80% two to three difficulty attacks. I'm not saying all of your attacks have to be uh, that, but it has to be at least 80%, right? So if you're playing 20 attacks in a 60 card deck, 16 of your attacks need to follow these guidelines, either being all four check tribal or all three def tribal. It can be any character too. It doesn't have to be Beast Titan, although Beast Titan could certainly play a four check tribal deck. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if I get several entries based around Beast Titan. Send the deck link to me using the Google form in the description of this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go to the bottom on the description, click the little more button, you'll see the Google form tab, click that and you can submit your list. The lists are gonna be judged based on two criteria. One, viability or how competitive is this? Could this actually, could you take this to a tournament to your locals and actually do pretty well? But then second, also creativity. I'm looking uh, for some really neat combos. I don't want to just see, you know, like a boring Reiner deck. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's going to be hard not to get really creative with these. And I'm not saying like any characters are just out there. I'm just saying that like, I don't want to just see like Smiling Titan slamming all the four checks and we're just saying, all right, that's good. You know, like, like sure, that's probably pretty viable, but. It's not the most creative deck out there. I'm looking for um, something to, where I look at it as a judge and I say, oh my gosh, I never thought of this. This is actually really cool. Or or these two or three cards synergize together in ways that I never really thought of. And then me and a guest judge are going to rate our top two lists from the submissions. Uh, my guest judge is going to be Ryan Kogod from the team. Uh, he took second place with Endeavor 3 in a webcam tournament. Was that earlier this year or last year? I don't know. The time gets away from me. But um, he took second place in some major webcam tournament. Uh, and he's been a great team member. But uh, me and Ryan are going to rate our top two lists. And then we're going to play them against each other in a round to see who wins. So our, our favorite list will get to go first in that round. But uh, the second favorite list has a chance to steal it from, from out from under our favorite list. So that's where the viability really comes into play here is that it's not just going to be we have to say it's viable. It's going to actually have to prove itself in a match. I will record that match and it will be put into the winner announcement video where you can watch and see who wins. Also, Ryan and I will be going through each list and we'll be talking about, um, you know, what we liked, what we didn't like. Um, but we're going to by and large be nice to everybody. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to eviscerate any decks in that video. Uh, we're going to talk about the cool things of every single deck. So that's it. That That is how you can take home this Chrome Rare Beast Titan. Guys, there is a chance that you spend $5 and you get a Chrome. I promise you that will be the cheapest Chrome you ever, ever buy. 
uh, yeah, five dollars. Sign up as a supporter. Uh, go ahead and submit a list. And September 14th, I'll make a video where we go through every single list and we play the top two against each other and we see who is walking away with number 41, Chrome Rare Beast Titan.